Hey everybody, it's Wendy and it's Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching uh, Facebook Live. With me is my good friend, Michael Kramer. He is Chef Kramer to those in the culinary world, or just Kramer. And uh, he is the executive chef of Gianna, which I will say is my favorite restaurant in Greenville. And thank you for opening. You're a year old now. Yeah, we are. March 7th, marked right. the one year anniversary. So we're uh, Congrats. happy to be here. Yeah, congratulations. Um, tell us about your first year of business in, at Gianna. I know you've been in the Table 301 network for quite a while, but like, tell us how this first year went for you. It was, uh, I think, insanity is probably the, uh, the operative word. I think we... Uh, I think we were just really blessed to be sort of the right place, right time. The weather was great, the patio was open, so that was always helpful. And, uh, you know, I think people were just starving for some great oysters and yeah. fresh house made pasta. So we just kind of, it was great. The, the, the support from the community, uh, from people outside the community, and, and all the, um, the everybody in town has been pretty amazing. Well so received, yes. Yeah. And well done. Um, it's a beautiful perch. It's probably the prettiest site in Greenville. It's perched right over um, Falls Park. So if you wanna come, like this is the perfect time of year to come in and enjoy, like Gianna's balcony, get some oysters. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So everything about Gianna, I think, was done right. You know, you, you know what you're doing, obviously. How did you, how'd you get into chefing in the restaurant business and all that? Like, chefing in the restaurant your story? business, what's my story? <laughs> I uh, I didn't like food much as a kid. I was actually a real picky eater. But wow. uh, when I got out of uh, high school, went to community college for a little bit, and I went to study abroad. I went and lived in England for a while okay. with the family, and I just started opening my eyes to lots of different foods and things. And I would worked in the restaurant business delivering pizzas. You know, everybody has their story of where mm -hmm. they started. Yep. <laughs> and uh, I was delivering pizzas. So when I came back to the States, I enrolled in culinary school was kind of history as they say so right. and um, I still love food I still love cooking and enjoy it and, and meeting people and making people happy and yeah. filled and you're good at it like you're just you're a very confident chef I mean you know what you're doing but like what's your favorite thing to make people ask me that all the time I, I don't know you know there's there's so many things I mean I, I do I feel like with Gianna I cook food that I'd like to eat every day, and I think that was the, the thing, and you'll find that most chefs cook the food that they like, per se, mm -hmm. and um, I used to do a lot of the four and five star cooking, you know, everything was, was uh, a little more refined, and foie gras, and truffles, and caviar, and, and I love all that stuff, I mean, there's a place for it, and it's beautiful, but there's something about a simple bowl of pasta, mm -hmm. uh, that, homemade that just, pasta, yeah, that made in-house, that's, that sort of strikes a chord, so, you know, I think it's, it's fun for me to actually roll the pasta. There's, there's sort of a spiritual thing that goes along with it, sort of rolling out the pasta and then actually mm -hmm. finishing the dish uh, kind of thing. But it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's been amazing, and people order so much pasta here. We yeah. go through about 300 pounds of flour a week. So yeah. That's what you're bringing, right? Sure. So they're liking what you're putting down. Um, as far as the rest of the menu um, at Gianna, you mentioned oysters. Um, what else? can people look forward to uh, enjoying at Gianna? Sure, I mean besides the pastas we have crudos which of course we have a couple of raw fish dishes yeah. uh, sort of your Italian version of sashimi if you will mm -hmm. and uh, of course amazing cheeses and fresh tomatoes you know we have our steak which is our tagliata which is amazing mm -hmm. uh, our gnocchi which is made in house the little pillows we're, we're made of flour potatoes and egg yolks yep. and, uh, and they're yummy and what's that? Lovely ricotta um, honey. Yeah, the ricotta appetizer. crostini. It's warm. Oh it's gosh. warm, warm ricotta cheese with truffle honey and sea salt and parsley. Oh it's just like the perfect amount of sweetness and softness, and then the char on the bread. Sure. It's my favorite thing here. And sure. then the gnocchi, and then of course the oysters. Right. And Gianna has this great bar, so I mean you can just Four, come here. We have here. forty feet of it. Yeah. Actually. Here we're gonna we're gonna pan the bar for a minute. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's it looks like this wonderful Miles of bar. yeah New York bar, and then we're gonna pan out onto the balcony, and there's um, just this wrap around balcony. It kind of Hey Taryn, how are you? <laughs> Taryn's watching this. It, it reminds you of like New Orleans. Um, the bar has a great like New York vibe to it, I think, you know, and it's always lively and it's, it's just a, a wonderful place to just um, grab a drink, uh, meet friends, 
if even if you're not eating at Gianna, I mean, this bar is the place to be. Yeah, it yeah. is. It's. Uh, Did you anticipate that? You know, you never know when you open. You cross right. your fingers and hope you're doing the right thing. Yeah. But um, especially when the patio is open, you know, we have 40, I think 40 seats at our bar. It's probably the biggest bar in town. Wow. And uh, it's almost always full. Last night, I think we turned the bar three times. So. Oh my gosh. That's a win. Yeah. Good job. For All sure. right. So. <laughs> yeah, Taryn's saying hi to us. Hey, Taryn. Sparkle. How are you? <laughs> so, um, love you, Taryn. Also, yes, we love you so much, Taryn. Um, you're also a cyclist, and um, you've cycled all over Europe as well. So, like, you're you're influenced by European sports, European cooking. Sure. Um, tell us about your cycling. What do you have? I even have days? a pink jersey back over there oh, from, yeah, from the Tour of Italy. That's a, yeah. that was a big prize that oh, cool. Christian Vandeveld gave me from Ryder Hagedal. So it's actually the the winner's jersey from the Tour of Italy in 2012. That's, so that was a cool so thing. Cool. Of course, it's Italian, so we had to have it. Uh, yeah. Um, he knew where it would have a wonderful home. Exactly. And it's, yeah, it's the centerpiece as you walk in here yeah. uh, to the reception. Uh, yeah, cycling's been a huge part of my life, and, and it's uh, I've been doing it for a long time, <laughs> let's just say. And uh, I think that sometimes I say that it's, in some senses, saved my life in a sense because I think it helped keep me away from the typical food and beverage, stay out late in the yeah. bars. And, you know, I typically go home and I get up in the morning. I did 25 miles this morning, and... Um, I think last year about 4,000 miles, the year before about 5,500 miles, so wow. it's, um, it, it keeps me fit, it's good for my thought process, and yeah. it kind of helps clear the cobwebs, if you will, you know, it's a good place to think out of the bike, and of course Greenville is such an amazing place to ride, yeah. it's even better. So. Yeah, and, and you're involved with cycling events too, like the Grand Fondo, you're always involved with like the Celebrity Chef sure. Dinner and things yeah. like that. So, so yeah, Rich and George always have me up for the for the Fondo Celebrity Chef Dinner, which is an amazing event. Yeah, in October. Oh, if you are not already on the radar for the Hincapie Grand Fondo, go check out their website, Hincapie.com, and the Fondo is just an amazing event yeah. held the end of October. Sure. Yeah. Great so, day, well organized event, and it just gets uh, better and better every yeah. year. Food's great. Yeah. And uh, just good people. Yeah, well, last sure. year Patrick Dempsey was there, so that made it like really. I met him. I, know. I <laughs> met him, and I didn't really realize who he was until a few minutes later. Like, wow, so you're so good looking. Oh people my gosh. are like, <laughs> oh, you didn't know who he was, really? And I was like, I don't necessarily watch the show. Yeah, right, right. Since he was in Loverboy, it goes a yes. long time back. Yes, yes, McDreamy. Yeah. So that was a highlight of the Fondo. Um, so it's wonderful how you have been able to blend your passions for cycling and for being a chef, and you are about to ride. Um, um, something that's near and dear to your heart, Chef Cycling, yeah, is that what Chef it's Cycle. Chef and uh, it's for No Kid Hungry, and okay. uh, i got to go out to Sonoma, California and do three 100-mile wow. three days back-to-back, -back wow. and uh, raising money for No Kid Hungry, which is an amazing cause. It's a solvable problem uh, because we know that we, can, we have the resources to feed kids, and a lot of kids we don't realize that don't have enough food to eat when they go to school every day. Um, due to circumstances that are, of course, beyond their control. And we know that they can't learn when they don't have food in their belly because they're just thinking about food. It's yeah. been proven. So uh, Chef Cycle raised over $2 million last year. For every wow. buck, it's 10 meals. And uh, it goes to after-school programs and especially summer programs because if the kids don't have somewhere to go during the school year, what are they going to do? They can't starve all summer. So boys, boys clubs, girls clubs, churches, so the money that we raise is allotted, of course, nationwide. So it's been a great uh, cause. I do dinners, and I usually do them in people's homes. And yeah, I know you've we've been done able, a few. Yeah, you've done a couple of them. Yeah, and it's, just, it's a blast. It's a great, just social, fun time, it and really everybody is. comes and brings brings a little money and a little bit of wine, and uh, we give a hundred percent of that straight to Chef Cycle. And uh, we actually found that I believe seventy percent of the money goes to Chef Cycle up to the actual charity itself, you know, after Very expense, good. which is higher than most. A lot of times you'll find that only thirty or forty or fifty percent. So Chef Cycle has one of the highest rates of return on that. So it's an amazing cause and there's gonna be two or three hundred chefs out in Sonoma. Wow, that many chefs participate. Yeah. 
It's, yeah. It brings balance to your life, it yeah. sounds like. Yeah. yeah. So now, if people want to um, hear about these dinners, because they're usually really unique experiences. They are in... They're sort of top secret. They're yeah, sort of they're, the, it's like this secret dining it's club, like but club, it's yeah. for a great cause. Sure. And um, if people want to be on some kind of a notification list, where's the best place to find out about They those? just need to try to reach out to me and, okay. and just figure out when I'm doing my next clandestine yeah. dinner. And Yeah, and, and we usually are going or a part of it or sure. hosting you it or something. The Swamp Rabbit Inn. Yeah, TR. we also do that. We are, or, anyway, yeah. wanna, I want to do one more of, of those. One up there, but maybe one down here too. I know we did a free dinner for Gianna. But oh, yeah. Yeah, that's but right. I think I did my first, that was the first dinner at Swamp Rabbit, wasn't it? It was. First pop-up dinner. For sure, we yes. We did with uh, Williamsburg and all that yeah. stuff with the winery. Oh, yeah. We've done like four events yeah. and they've all been like really fun. But where, where can people donate to um, your cause, what you're doing for Chef Cycle? Well, you can go online and uh, it's chefcycle.org and then you can find my page, which is Michael Kramer. You'll see okay. my photo up there. And we'll put and, a link in the show notes. So um, we'll put it as a comment with the video and then we'll also put it on yeah. our blog. And you can donate if it's five bucks or fifty bucks or a hundred yeah. bucks, whatever it is. But again, it's about kids, and uh, you know, there are there are next generation. We need to make yeah. sure that they have something to eat and Absolutely. they can learn in school. So yeah, and uh, my kids and I stumbled onto you, and it was such a surprise. Um, Beat Bobby Flay, you were on Beat Bobby Flay. Now this was right before Gianna opened. Last it was, year, yeah. Or, okay. It was. Um, well, it filmed after we had opened. Okay. Or aired, excuse me, but it filmed December right before we opened, so okay. that was a pretty wild ride. Yeah, so check out Michael on Beat Bobby Flay. Um, it's uh, holla at you can boy. Stream that's it. The, that's the name of the. Oh the yeah, episode. holla. It was holla, holla at you boy. Right, right. Because they threw a loaf of holla bread at me and told that's me right. to make something delicious out of it in 20 minutes. And you did. You made French toast. Savory I made French savory toast. French toast with yeah. mushrooms and all that stuff, but. Sounded awesome. Yeah. I was rooting for you. <laughs> so good. Well, thank you so much, Michael, for chatting with us. And um, always. Yeah, we always have fun talking. So um, come to G. <laughs> Sorry, my phone's ringing, which is a good thing. Hey, Tim, how are you? Yes, Tim attended um, the dinner at the end. And hopefully, you'll be in town soon for um, the Mountains to Main Street. But I want to just take a minute to let everyone know that. Tomorrow is the last day of a really cool contest we've been running with Asheville Glamping, and it's uh, an Asheville and Greenville vacation um, contest. <laughs> Keeps ringing. Technology. Um, yeah, right. Hopefully something's not on fire, right? Yeah, I know. No, it's not. It's all good. Um, so, anyway, um, tomorrow is the last day to enter, and that would be April 26th, and at 7 o'clock, um, Joanna from Asheville Glamping and I will be announcing the winner of our contest. So go to Swamp Rabbit Inn Instagram. It's Swamp Rabbit Inn SC or Asheville Glamping's Instagram. And the rules for the contest are posted there today on both of our pages. And tag a friend and just follow all the steps that you need to do for your chance to win. So, hey TJ, how are you? Uh, anyway, we will. Uh, We'll be posting all this and our winner tomorrow. So thanks for watching, and next Wednesday we'll be back with another guest. Bye. Have a great day. <laughs>